I had a dream last night that I was with Sarah again. We were holding hands and walking home, but it was cold and snowy. Must have been Iris and messing with my mind, but oh, how I wish the dream didn't end. I miss Sarah so much, and I miss Normie so much. I just had to see their faces again. And with my new banner, I'll get to see them every day. But why do they have to leave me? Norm was supposed to be here with me in this terrible place. Well, it seems like he still is around, but he completely ignored me. I was standing right there. If you came to see anyone, it should have been me. I mean, can you believe that? Going to Bulka. After everything we've been through together, and, and no one here has magic powerful enough to bring him back. But once I find someone who can, he's gonna get a piece of my mind, that's for sure. I mean, how dare he talk me into going through that darn portal to another world, then go get himself killed leaving me alone with these humans I barely know. Now Vasilisa is telling me my new role is being a two-faced courtesan. Well, I don't quite know what a courtesan means, but two-face? I've been so nice and helpful to everyone. Now, because of those stupid cards, I'm being looked at suspiciously, while Mr. Valdine is being looked at like a savior or something. What makes him so important? I don't even know why we're paying attention to those cards to begin with. They seem to be nothing but trouble. All of this is just so frustrating. Sometimes I just want to scream and yell at everyone and everything. Oh, but don't worry. I'll keep being nice, just like I always do. Oh, wow. Fuck, Mark. That was amazing. She's she's right about a lot of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those cards are not to be trusted. Big facts. <laughs> End of last episode, we finally sat down and had our book two, a horror reading, full of interesting tidbits and t- tiddly twos and stuff. <laughs> oh, no, it was good. Tits. It was great. It was I loved it. It was so full of tits. <laughs> um, anyway, <laughs> it was great. It was a wonderful card reading. We got to get some new roll cards for everybody. It's it's gonna be an interesting time. So, how many people here at the table in real life have either done or received a tarot reading? Me. Hello, um, me. Just the three of us. Okay, I have no. Oh, well, I mean, I think for fun once in high school when there was a bunch of girls in a hotel because we had for choir gone to Grand Canyon for university. What were you wearing? Yeah, there's still oh. like there's more to this story. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sorry, a bunch of girls in a okay. hotel. I mean, I mean, track. to be fair, he said has ever happened once. You didn't raise your hand, and they're like, "Well, one time I did," but I don't think it counts because it was only <laughs> one time. Well, I don't think it was a real tarot reading, is is what I'm. It was, it was not. Like yes. a, I, that is true. A okay. Distinction without a difference. That, that is true. That is true. I mean, I've only <laughs> done, and I'm counting it. I'll okay. <laughs> um, I guess I'm the only one who hasn't. Nerd. I mean, I really oh, don't no, consider I, myself oh. to have gotten a tarot reading. To be okay. Honest, with how? Yeah. No. So at the end of the last session, we finished with a wonderful horror reading. We have some new card assignments. We have a new perspective for the past, which is the publican, the teamster, and the bear. The present, which is the paladin, the midwife, and the betrayal. And the future, which is the unicorn, the inquisitor, and the snake bite. That means David's going to survive. I mean, maybe. Maybe. You'll, you're in the future. It's you're one literally of the, in the possibilities. Future. I could be dead in the future, even though I'm or there. Maybe something David does to die like he dies and it ensures your guys's future marge did Ooh. say he's our savior so <laughs> yeah i twisted your words i apologize Wait, what? <laughs> that's not what i said <laughs> okay oh, so okay. we also have the results to go over from the combined harrowing spell that Vasilisa cast during the actual harrow reading um which we calculated off mic and it's fucking cool. Elizabeth, do you want to tell us about that? Hey. Alright, so the Harrowing spell is quite possibly one of the most complicated spells in the game of Pathfinder that I have come across. Really? That's saying something. It sounds like a Harrowing experience. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is oh, aptly God. named. <sighs> Ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Just looking at Zach, I can see him thinking, 
I want to cut it, we but should it. I cut should it? I cut <laughs> Look, <laughs> you got to make the okay. harrowing joke at least once. Right. I mean, okay. respect for comedy is one thing, but... Oh. <laughs> some, dr- some jokes are not meant to be told. Volca would oh. not approve. <laughs> <laughs> no, he probably would, actually. <laughs> okay. That's, that's a very Volca joke. It's a complicated spell first because you have to keep track of it for a full day per level. So that is five days. That's a lot. Or it's only going to get worse as you level up. The event that you had in mind when you did the Haro reading as you cast the spell is accomplished. Oh. So you need to keep track of both of those things. Jeez. And you have to keep track of all nine cards from the Haro spread. Look at the suit of each card and the alignment associated with each card. Each suit of the Haro is associated with an ability score. The spell is so complicated, we'll never be done explaining it. (laughs) (laughs) Kind of of feels that way. So, for the next five days, or until we successfully get into White Throne, whichever comes first, Vasilisa will get plus one on a will save, plus two on a fortitude save, plus two on an attack roll, plus one on an attack roll, Plus one on a different will save. Plus one on any <laughs> d20 roll. She got that one twice. And plus one on any skill check. Again, she got that one twice. So is this like the vest of many items that we got where it's like you just <laughs> so you can kick any one of those on whenever you track. want? Well, unfortunately, we do know that it is not going to be the completion of the task you have laid before you that ends the spell because yep. um, as soon as the horror reading is over you guys look over and you see Kappa and Gary over at a table and they have laid out in front of them a map of the local area Nice. and Kappa has taken a, a, a compass and a charcoal pen and has kind of laid out the map She's such a great NPC. Oh, she's wonderful. She does so much work. <laughs> she does. She does a lot of the heavy lifting. It's awesome. So it looks like it will be about a nine-day journey um, to get to White Throne. Uh, it'll be about the six days to get to Elspren. Uh, so then Elspren in six days, and then three more days, and we get you to White Throne. Um, and once we get to Elspren, we will have a better idea of how to get into White Throne. And this is the path we are going to take. It's a good path. It takes uh, some roads. Um, should be fun. What, what kind of dangers can we expect on the road? Oh, what do we need to pre- prepare for? Good, good uh, you should be prepared for spooky winter things. Oh, okay. great. And so helpful. Spooky animals and spooky ferrymen. Iterson is Are full of terrible trolls? surprises. I there like bro- to burn There trolls. might be trolls. I have okay. encountered several trolls on I my journeys. As they are so big and ugly, aren't they? Uh, I've noticed I have fewer berries than I should left from my garden in Heldren. I don't know who's been sneaking berries out of my pouch, but you yes, can it, stop it, now. It was you. What? I mean, yes, it was you. Why would I eat the berries because I specifically not... brought to turn into good berries in Eurison where no berries are growing? Because you were not thinking properly? Everyone was not thinking properly at the time. All right, we are going to need to do better at keeping us not from what happened yesterday. Absolutely okay. agreed. But yeah. I can turn more of these berries into good berries, which will help supplement our rations on the road. Well, they seem to come in handy before, for sure. Yes. I do not know what all you need to do, but you all still look a little bit tired. No offense, but you all should probably take another day or maybe two or seven just like breathe and stuff because you all seem very like like you are you are up here and and i think you guys would function better like down here yes no we are as a group we are all as you say bedraggled yes yes you all you all seem very uh, and i think you all should be more like ah uh, you know like yeah this stressful out there today and it will be but you all need to breathe please well, y- y- but we need to get going, you know. We've got things to do. We, I want to get this done so we can all we go home. We have a little bit of an impetus upon us magically to post haste, but also it could be like when we went to Hildren to 
get supplies technically wrong direction but correct forward action yes when you explained to me about the the curse that i am now involved with you said that yes, uh, we we could do things as long as they were for the final main goal of like com completing our task yes we, we must have our heart in the correct place hurrying to help baba yaga as efficiently as we can Kepa's kids are being very loud in the corner of the hovel just Sorry, now. Mom. It is okay, children. Just be good. Okay. Well, the winter witch will cast m very bad, most complicated <laughs> Paizo spell ever on you. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> you will need so many cheat sheets and three by five cards. Please, no. I hate taking notes. <laughs> you will take so many notes. No. Yeah. So I do not know when you all uh, want to go. Uh, Gary and I are, of course, ready, and so are the boys. Uh, but you all need to do whatever you need to do. Just let us know, and we will uh, prepare bags and stuff when uh, the time comes for us to get a mosey in, if that is the correct term. I think tomorrow at the earliest. And we, we will want to leave early, and we will walk most of the day, and then we have time to set up camp and... Unfortunately, Kiapa does not have anything in town to go back for because they burnt the house to the ground, it looked like. Uh, do you think they have gotten around to burning Bulka's house yet? They're definitely going to burn Bulka's house, though, and the chapel, for sure. I do not know if they will burn... The oh, chapel. they definitely know that the Bulka was the one at the tower saying, I am Bulka from Valdsby, everyone run. I'm pretty sure they called him by name as they said, we will find you and murder you. Volan, right? The guard was yelling quite a lot. Uh, he was going to wipe wipe his excrement with my beard, I yeah, believe. I believe he also <laughs> said something mm. about beating you with your own body. It's not important, though. He will not get chance i mean it's not like that's i'm true. going to see him again anytime soon <laughs> very true because none of us are going back to waltzby ever again i mean i am not going back to waltzby all of my stuff is gone but Boka, you have you still have things in in the chapel don't don't you want to retrieve them i live i mean Boka provides everything i need i live a very meager life to begin with i mostly am trying to help others um, I'm so very glad I am not named after a deity because it would be most awkward. Is it awkward sometimes, Bolka? Do you feel a little like, oh, I must sound quite conceited right now. I just said I provide everything for oh, myself. Oh, no. I mean, I think you understand. You know that I do not know that I know that I think that I provide everything. I'm just a man. I, I do not know enough common to have followed that. <laughs> oh, I know common. I didn't follow but I don't know. That's okay. <laughs> no, but Goddess provides. And uh, I, I do not have much at my place. The only item I actually forgot that I cared about would be the skull of my mother. But <gasps> Did you kill your mother? Oh, I have no. always dreamt of such. A, oh, never. Okay. No, my mother was. Uh, no one wants to commit matricide in well, this room. I definitely. Be okay. I believe my mother was very different from what you have told me from your mother. Oh, that is good for you. Yes, okay. <laughs> no one wants to kill moms. We all love our moms. Vasilis is looking Va Vasilis. between Marge and Kappa. <laughs> Vasilis, you seem a little on edge today. Are you okay? <laughs> Look, I mean, more I, than everyone else is already on edge. I you think just... I am a little thrown off because I don't like not remembering things. And I don't remember uh. how we got here still. And part of me is a little convinced you are all in the illusion and that I will wake up and a white witch will laugh at me and say, oh, you thought you could infiltrate my tower and Stop my spell, fuck you, and then I will die. So that's. I can see how that no would make worries. you uncomfortable. I'm fine, yeah. That, no, I'm that fine. That sounds most I am, terrible. The, I no, it's. I occasionally stop and think, isn't it an illusion? March. Well, see, no, see, I'm not an illusion. Oh, you I, felt that, right? I pulled your hair there. Yeah, I, I <laughs> felt it. I did, and. Uh, Maybe I am being tortured in my real body. You know, there's nothing an illusion could tell you that would convince you it's not an illusion. So we can't really engage in this conversation with this you. This is you just need true. To get over it, it is a little bit too philosophical at some point. But if it was true or not true, how would you behave differently? 
I wouldn't tell you to say. I mean, if I knew it was an illusion, point, then I wouldn't tell them key things like where exactly this hideout we are in is, for example. In case they did not catch all of my companions and I maybe secretly actually gave them the information to find the hideout. Maybe that is why I do not remember getting here. It's because my mind knew to protect the location of the hideout from the witch that is trying to trick me. And at this point, Vrix kind of just flies over and he takes the cup of coffee that he set in front of Vasilisa and he just like slowly moves it away from her. <laughs> I was not done yet. Oh, <laughs> no, 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 you cut off. Uh, did you poison my coffee and you no. have regret? No. I did not prepare no it today, but tomorrow I can detect poison. You, you, know? you do that and... I won't feel hurt by it at all. <laughs> I'm going to just take my cards and these scrolls and I'm going to sit over there and I am going to burn these scrolls, but in a way to add them to my familiar, please do not bother me. It will take, I am pretty sure all day, very powerful magic happening, no one disturb. And Vasilisa goes off into a corner. That's probably for the best. I did not hear that, Vailding. I'm too busy over here. <laughs> Good. <laughs> uh, so who do you who do you want to send a message to? I we could uh, the message would probably be small enough. We could convince Vrix to fly into town and deliver it for you. Uh, or if Vrix does not want to, or if we do not completely trust Vrix, uh, we could always. I believe we have a uh, token. Do we not have feather token? Mm, sounds familiar. Um, Vasily, I don't, has I don't think sorry. I have. <laughs> I'm like, uh, I'm not quite sure what you're talking about. I mean, at least I have one. Bulka, you do remember finding a feather token. See, I you're, thought you're so. not sure who has it, but you remember finding one. Yes, I thought we had some way of sending message. That's one of those through it magic. Yeah, notes, it like right? turns it, into a bird, and then the bird can like fly with the message. So someone might have to hassle Vasilisa to give them the yep. token. Yes, I mean, unless we trust Vrix, so we could just send Vrix, but... Uh, well, who do you need to get in contact with? I mean, I don't need necessarily. I just... It would be nice to let people know, like, that I am okay, and maybe tell Varana, like, I'm sorry, I hope I hope that her daughter's boyfriend, our Overby, is not one of the ones that got set on fire. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You know, and Rusilka, I would like to say thank you to Rusilka for, you know, doing my hair every day. Oh, I have no idea what is going to happen to my hair now that I am away from her. Well, I can help you out there. You know, I had lots of kiddos, lots of girls. Do you do, you know how to do braids? Like, Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Have you heard of uh, this? Uh, it's like a French braid. Could you do something like that? Do you know what that is? I, You know, I'm not sure, but I, uh, I, I, I could probably figure something out. What is, what is, uh, what is what's a French it's like when you braid the braid, you know? It's like, uh -huh. yo, dog, I heard you like braids, and so I braided <laughs> your braids. It's very much it's very much that style. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, I didn't know me. dogs had braids. I mean, <laughs> I, dogs around here have really long, thick fur, so... Oh, you know, I guess that makes sense. We don't have long-haired dogs back in uh, oh, Peldor. Oh, no. How do you, how do you snuggle them <laughs> if they were in the air? Well, no, they have hair. Oh. They just don't have really long hair. Oh. And they have short... Because it's much warmer where uh -huh. we're at. Uh -huh. Do you think... Do you think I have, if I lived in Taldor, I'd have shorter hair? Oh, I don't know. Maybe. Because I kind of like my hair. I think it's... I don't know. I feel like I got a lot going on for me with it. <laughs> it's possibly his choice. Like, if, yeah, you, if you brush a lot, that maybe you could lose some of it. But if you do not want to lose it, you could probably keep it. Yeah, I just think I'm too fat. No, I have seen. Can't really you, tell. Actually. I have seen you turn into like skinny, like yeah, pencil. No, you have. Yeah, so it's all muscle mass. I know. It's like point one percent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, I could practice, and you can tell me if I'm doing it right or not. Oh yes, I mean anything with the improvement. I cannot, you know, I can do my beard. I can see. I can do my beard easy, but when I cannot see, I cannot work. So it's better than nothing, no matter what. Even if you do a poor job, it's well, good. yeah, I can kind of see how it goes just by looking at it. Maybe if I took it apart, you know, I know it's kind of messy, but if I kind of took it apart, I might be able to figure out how it goes. You know, the doing it to begin with. 
it's not it's not the same way like Rusilka would do different you know different uh, style every day just kind of like whatever she was feeling like it's not one burka style that I always must have well know. that's no problem then because I used yeah, to do all do different kinds of styles with the kiddos just how, do what your heart tells you it's good <laughs> yes, I mean, even just to get word to Verana and Rusilka, like, that I am okay, that that uh, that Arbigazer is, is okay, like, let them know, kind of, so, that, so they do not have to worry. Yes, that uh, that is probably a good idea. I don't think anybody really knows what happened to Arbigazer, and now I am gone too, and the boys, and it'd probably be a good idea to just let everyone know that we are okay. Or should I be dead? Do you think I should be dead? Should I be dead? Oh, it's a good question. to be dead? It's probably safer to be dead. Where do you plan to go? I mean, do you plan on, like, trying to stay in White Throne? Uh, I do not know about White Throne. Uh, White Throne is very much a, a big, uh, more scary place than I think is, is what my boys deserve. But uh, we may we may stay in Elsprin. It is a place where we have some family. There may be people in Elsprin already playing the same game as you and, and saying they are dead. We're not really there in Elspin. You'll probably be in good company. Yes, I, I believe I will find uh, good good friends there. It's a good place to lay low, as they say. Yes. Now you're worried about, you know, anybody getting their hands on that note. Yes, I guess I will not give specifics or details, just uh, that I am fine and alive and watch your six. Oh, that sounds like good advice. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm picturing the person in Waldsby reading the note and just looking up at the clock tower <laughs> at the six. Did Bulka put something up there? <laughs> they should have a, should a whole turn? ritual. They have a whole ritual about six o'clock now from now on. Wash your you It's always 1210. <laughs> also, meta, what is that about? Why did the clock stop at 1210? Well, in both. In both cities, mm. out of all Could the times, be a sign about a date. Is it Cthona the tenth? That's right. We don't actually know why that's the case. We don't. Hmm. And you never will uh, until the end of the adventure. The path. teachings of Cathon. <laughs> wise, wise, Zonkathun. Or Zonkathon. I like Zonkathon. Zonkathong song. <laughs> <laughs> so, Bulka, you're. Are you gonna construct this note, and Marge is gonna do your hair, and Vasilisa's gonna burn some scrolls, and. Right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. following sounds, along so far. Yeah. That sounds good. What's oh, yeah. Val? Dean gonna do? I'm gonna go outside and collect some firewood. Uh, roll me a perception check. 16. Cool. Marigold's out of water. I pet Marigold's head. <laughs> oh, Tell her she's a good donkey. Give her no uh, hello, tall man. Thank you. I don't suppose I could get some more delectable water, could I? <laughs> Marigold seems like you're out of water here. Let me get you some uh, some fresh water. You're a good donkey. Like give, yes. give her more pets. Yes, I am a good girl. And I talk to the donkey just like as if she can understand me. Ah, if only I knew what you were saying, tall person. <laughs> I bet it's wonderful and poetic. <laughs> <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> give me a survival check. Okay. <laughs> Spill the water everywhere. Oh. Ten. You find some small sticks. Well, this is hardly going to do. I, I pile them up next to the entrance, and then I, I want to go look for more wood. Give me another survival check. <laughs> <laughs> it's a very cracked die. Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Bounced off the microphone. It's a 10 again. <laughs> Couple more sticks. Can I take 10? <laughs> Roll a 1d4, and that's how many hours it's going to take you to find good wood. Two. Two hours to find a very sizable amount of Valdine firewood. seeks out some good wood. Yeah. <laughs> Episode title. Valdine <laughs> gets That's what James wood. said. I'm just going off what the DM told me. <laughs> so a couple hours later, uh, Marge, what hairstyle have you decided on for Bulka? Well, she's she's pulled the sides back into braids, you know. Each side has got its own braid, and then they meet in the middle, and they kind of create a little man bun. Oh, oh God. Oh. <laughs> Well, you know, it's still long in the back, yes. but you know, it comes together. Part of just the sides of it comes together with the braids and then the, a button. And yeah, well, this will keep it out of your face. Yeah. It's like business on top and party in back and serious contemplation on sides. I like. I there like. you go. <laughs> <laughs> and how's Boko's letter going? What's he feeling right now? Because he's been in Waldsby for 
a hot minute. Yes. But while he was in Waldsby, a lot of the time he was in Waldsby, he was like repressing this feeling that he was supposed to be doing something else. He was like kind of forcing himself to, to settle and be, be content with just helping this small town. So that's actually lifting off of him a little bit as he yeah. sees how, so is how he, deep this is. So is he getting some energy from this then? Like, is he starting to kind of ramp himself up or is it contented dread? He, he's getting excited. He's getting pumped because he feels it, it's going along like in tandem with feeling more connected to the goddess. And like, he's like, oh, this is what you wanted me to do. Okay, cool. Now I can like, I can serve you better by doing this bigger thing. Yeah. yeah I mean, he's not a zealot, but he's feeling, he's feeling more zealous about <laughs> his religion. That's awesome. But yeah, a little more energy. And he's, he's excited to be doing something bigger than, you know, just performing services and being a counselor to people that are, you know, sometimes kind of shitty. Like it was, there was some Jerry Springer stuff going on in that town that he was a little bit, he was helpful, but he was felt above it. Yeah. Um, so during this, this time and everything, Valdine's gone for about two hours, but like an, an hour or two passes. And then I think Vrix is going around and he's passing out like little, crumpets and stuff little like baked ration things to everybody and he's taking drink orders from people if they want beverages and he goes, ah, yeah, here you go i i made you some some scones uh i, f- I found a, a old book i've had in my house for a while one of the other sprites uh used to be really really into making stuff so he had a cookbook uh, and i made some of these they're 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 scone as uh um, they're pretty good, I think. But anyway, uh, y- do you do you guys want anything to drink? Bulka, Marge, can I whip you up anything? Well, I wouldn't mind having another coffee, but and you said you had some whiskey with you? I think someone has whiskey, yeah. Uh-huh. I'll find some. I can do that. Well, a little bit in the coffee would be good. Okay, cool. Oh, Bulka, do you want anything to drink? Uh, water. Water. water? Oh, All right, cool, you. cool. Uh, cold, warm. Uh, it's, I mean, it's mostly cold, but I could eat some up for you if you no, want. No, no, it's fine. Okay, okay. Uh, I am simple man. Cool. He's going to detect poison and detect magic on the <laughs> sco- on the scones. Smart, smart, smart. Uh, you detect neither poison nor magic. I don't have detect feces prepared today. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's fair, that's fair. <laughs> um, and then I think he's definitely waiting for Vasilisa, and he's, he's like, finally, like, she relaxes for a moment. Cause she's three hours after she started. Three she hours after she does. started. <laughs> she's finished the scroll, and he goes, hey, um... I wanted to apologize for earlier and taking away your coffee. I thought that was kind of mean of me. I wanted to say I'm sorry. Vrix. And he looks over and Hatch is just like, yeah, good job. <laughs> like coaching him through. He was like, yeah, you did good. So anyway, I just, I wanted to apologize. Um, and I brought you a scone. I was wondering if you wanted a coffee again or tea or something i'd Vrix. like to make you a drink Vrix. yeah i promise unless you betray me completely i won't cut your other ear off okay does that make you feel better I, yeah I were guess, you I scared guess. i was going to throw a card at you again or no, something i just i <sighs> Hatch said that I might have been a little mean and that I should apologize. And I'm trying to be more like him because he's doing me a big favor, letting me, like, stay with him. And then, like, uh, I don't know. I feel like I owe him. Hatch is indeed the best house spirit I have ever met. He is a beautiful domovoy. (laughs) (laughs) And you look over and he's peeking behind, like, a cupboard at you. And then you, he, like, you guys make eye contact. Oh. Mm -mm. He hides. Did Hatch help you to get this? You see that it's a scone? Yeah, scone. Okay, okay. I shall... And she looks around to see if anyone else is eating them. Oh, I am. After, oh. after I detected okay. magic and poison, she I'm eating She shall one. observe Bolka. Notice that he seems okay. He's eating it daintily, and he's eating just a little bit at a time. But yep, he- She shall nibble. <gasps> very delicately at the <laughs> corner of one of the scones. They're really dry and they are have way too much flour in them. I like it, that. it is whatever you think a 4 out of 20 for a scone would be. Oh. It's edible, but you just not enjoyable at all. Though. I think that's perfect for Bulka. This is uh, That's what he's used to. Like he'd he'd feel guilty if it was like too sweet and delicious and cream, like soft and buttery. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the yeah, gesture. Yeah. Uh, did you want anything to drink? Um, 
maybe after the school. I mean, yes, I <laughs> would like some tea, please. Okay. Uh, what, what kind of tea? Do we have more than one kind of tea in this hovel? I, I got some in my place. I can get you, you some. You have tea in yeah. your tiny spray house. Yes, yeah. I got tea. I got coffee. I got other stuff that you- we don't need to keep a sheet for. <gasps> Do you have any tea with flowers in it? Yeah, I think so. Get some flower tea for you. Some blossoms. Yeah. Nice. A nice beautiful a summer smell. Tea. Yeah, yes, I can do that. I would love a tisane. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Okay. Uh, also, though, be careful when you bring it back. If I am in the middle of talking to my cards, I'll just set don't it right. talk to yeah, me. Yeah, I'll just set it right there. Okay, because Next if I lose scone. my concentration, poof, scroll is literally just ash. All right, well, I'll get you your tea. Okay, I'm going to try to learn how to spy through mirrors now. All right. <laughs> uh, and Valdine, you have just finished gathering up a nice sized pile of wood outside of the hovel. I, I want to pet Marigold one more time. Tell her she's a good donkey. Hell yeah. And then I go back inside because right. it's cold. You, you climb down the ladder and Rix flies up and he's like, hey, I need your flask. What? It's for Marge. What for? Oh. Okay. Still what for? What? Yeah, she what just wants some. All right. Sure. her coffee. I hand him my flask, which is the size of him. Yeah, he like, oh, fuck. I ah! take it back before he falls. Yeah. yeah. yeah fuck, where where are we going? Right. You just put a little bit in here. All right. I uncork it and pour a little bit in there. Just keep going. <laughs> I pour a little bit more. One more. <laughs> just a tiny bit more. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's had a... <laughs> I take a swig <laughs> off the flask too. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Then I look over and I see um, Bolka's hair, and he has a man bun on top of his head. <laughs> yeah, he does. And I stare at the man bun, and I just, Marge, what have you done to this man's beautiful head of hair? <laughs> Aww. Marge, you Marge, not, I, wait a minute. No, I can't like believe it? I leave the room for a few hours to get some firewood, and this is what happens. Hold on, let we gotta we can't we can't leave this like this. And I walk over. And I'm about to undo the man bun. Oh, but but he was. I, Valdin, you have better better idea. You have hairstyle skills. Well, so I don't talk about this very much, but there's there's a time in my life where I did, did a lot of hair. I I actually worked. Nice. <laughs> I worked in a, a facility that, um, well, <clears throat> I would provide services for people's needs when they are lonely. And I would be, well, I mean, <clears throat> I, I was not alone. This was a place I worked quite a, in the city. When I lived in the city, I was younger. It was different time. Anyway, I don't talk about that time in my life very often, but I learned a lot about you. You, hair. Were, you braided hair for people who how were lonely? He was a love worker. I, th- Bolka <laughs> understands, as Bolka does. A I'm love so worker. so mad that Vasilis <laughs> isn't getting any of this. <laughs> it's a noble profession. It's an important job. I, I spent a lot of time with my fellow well he was people like i worked with in this in the in the city we we lived in the same house it was where i it was where i stayed during that time i didn't i lived on the street before that so it was certainly a better place for me and i learned all about women's hair men's hair all, beards everything i learned all about how to wow. keep up hygiene i learned a ton about things i would have never known before and oh i well, just you I, know did my kiddos hair and that's just i was playing and around I, I, and no, marge i mean no offense to you as far as the the thing you did his hair just i I just can't. I can't that let. I can't did. let this man walk around. I can't he's let got the this man, man walk He's around. drinking a PBR. He's got like a giant Sex Pistols <laughs> belt buckle. He's got a hand rolled cigarette. That's I, just what I do for my kiddos. I couldn't, I I couldn't pass talking. up this opportunity to, to, to do something about this. But yes, Plus, if you were back in so back in the part, if you were like a, a courtesan, like they are yeah, trained, yes, they are uh, trained in in many different I'm skills. Glad, I'm glad no one saw me react when the courtesan card got revealed earlier, because oh, I. That's what a courtesan. I didn't oh, know yes, what a courtesan was. Well, now you know more, Marge. And, I, and anyway, if you don't mind, oh, I wonder why that card was picked for me. That doesn't make any sense. I, I, if you don't mind, Bolko, I think we should do something different. And then I, I mean, if it's no offense to Marge, are you? If he is trained professional and wants to do his his art, I I would like to give him the opportunity. No offense to you, if that's okay. Well, no, that's okay. I I I yeah. That one, that's that's yeah. That's fine. That's fine. And she grabs her coffee and. <laughs> 
<laughs> sit back and drink the whiskey coffee yeah. and, and enjoy the moment. <laughs> I'm so mad. Vasilis is getting no. You're not here. He Elizabeth is not here. Wonderful. Oh, God. <sighs> Valdine then proceeds to get your hair straightened, combs it out, and essentially gets it all ready to do the braid you mentioned earlier that you wanted. Because I the heard that French before I left. Braid. Yeah. And so <laughs> he braids your hair and gets all the tangles out and makes sure it's nice and neat. And just just kind of sitting there, taking our time. Yeah, he, what is the fluffiest cloud you ever saw? Hmm. I don't know. Never really looked up that much. I usually look down. Marge is mumbling over her coffee. Oh. Now a unicorn. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect moment. That's awesome. Fucking unicorn. <laughs> Oh, I'm Valdine. I'm a it prince. Is, I'm a unicorn. Is. I'm so special. Oh, I'm the oh, savior. Bulga, your hair looks like shit. Marge did an awful job. Here, let me do it. I'm so much better. Now, Marge's inner monologue sounds a lot like James. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was channeling some bricks. That was, that, was, that was good, yeah. Yeah, so that's what Valdine does. Okay. What does the rest of the day look like for everybody? We've gathered wood and go ahead. <laughs> Hydro. Go ahead, Val. Hydro, homies. Hydro. Try do whatever you your need flask. to do. <laughs> Take your water, folks. It's good for you. Yeah, water break, water break, water check. Everyone listening to the podcast, make sure you drink some water. I want you all to chug at least eight ounces right now. Three, Here we two, go. One, Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you did it. We Great don't care job. if you're driving. We don't you care if you're in the I middle of performing surgery. You need to stop whatever you're doing. Drink eight delicious ounces of that magical life liquid. But don't actually drink life water because that's sad. Yeah, just like just caps just water. fine. Just normal water. Water's Water's good. good. It's cool. It's cool. So I think so, after yeah, down you, in her uh, <laughs> coffee and whiskey, Marge is, is going to try and make herself useful otherwise and maybe... Um, Go outside and practice with the blowgun. I want you to roll a con save for me, March. Okay. Yeesh. That much whiskey, huh? Whew. It was a... Yeah. Yep. Wait. Yep. How much whiskey did you put in her coffee? <laughs> he told me to keep pouring. Vrick three. said keep going. Three whatevers. Three whatevers. Three, seven. Three ounces. You're She's adjusted a seven? You're tipsy. I think you're tipsy with that, if that sounds fair. Yep. You had, because you were a tiny, wonderful lady, but there were also at least three hearty glugs of whiskey in that small cup of coffee. Oh, God. She's going to start telling the truth. (laughs) (laughs) Play it off as much as you want, but I think that Marge is definitely feeling it a little bit. Got that tingle tangle. Yeah, the tingle tingle (laughs) tangle. (laughs) No, the tangles are all gone. Sometimes I just say stuff I never heard before. So yeah, she's gonna sit down and she's gonna go through. Um, she's gonna go outside. Okay. Because she's ready to kind of step away from everybody for a moment. She's <laughs> going to pull out the blowgun and oh the God. poisons and just kind of, you know, I gotta figure out something to do with these th- these Forget- guys. I forgot about the poison. Part of me is regretting my decision to make you roll a con save. The other part <laughs> of me is like, oh, perfect timing. <laughs> What do you do with the poison, Marge? <laughs> well, she's just, you know, she's going to look at it and try to get them arranged. And she's not, you know, she only knows a little bit about poisons. Uh, she, you know, she's been a, was around Norm for a long time when he was working with them. But it was never really her thing. So she's just kind of looking and seeing how they fit into the blowgun and taking, you know, making little little tiny snowballs and putting them in the blowgun and practicing blowing and just you know, kind of trying to figure the whole thing out. And probably not doing a great job of it if she's tipsy. Yeah. <laughs> but you're not trying to apply the poisons or anything. No, I don't think I'm she... Just, that I'm was what I was mostly tipsy worried about. Marge. Yeah. Do I organize these by color? color? By size? Name? Well, I don't know what most of these are. <laughs> <laughs> so maybe color. <laughs> maybe probably color. All right, so Marge is going to work on the blowgun. What's Bulka? What's Valdine up to? And my hair is done? Yeah, I think so. If you're happy with it. What do you say? Is it? Do you have a craft or perform check or a dex check or like? I want to know how good it is. I would think it would be a dex check. I think if a you're dex check that. is and great, a bonus yeah. from experience, maybe. Sure, because he would even be thinking about that as you're pitching it. Like he does have like really steady hands, like precise hands. Yeah. So my roll is a nineteen, and then whatever bonus you want to give it for my experience in the past. 
I think plus two. Cool. From your so experience. it's twenty one. There you go. So it looks really good. It, looks it probably great. looks like. I mean, better than as, as good as Rusilka, if not better. Yeah, right? yeah. It it looks like <laughs> what fucking unicorns. Rusilka <laughs> did on a good day. But there's still something to be said for the the uh, the man bun that you said, like that that March did. Like it was something nice about that too. But this is so elegant. Well, I'm I'm really glad you like it. I I've heard of this new hairstyle where it goes in that kind of strange shape on top of the head, like a hat almost, and um. I don't know. Yes, it's I just, thought it was, was funny. You oh, okay? Hey, if, if you like it, that's okay. It can be your choice. It's your hair. I just uh, no, but this is beautiful though. This is so intricate. Good, good. I'm glad you like it. Then Valdine is just gonna take a bite of the scone after he dips it in some tea. Nice. I'll probably go over to Kappa and show off his hair. Show my hair. Oh, it's, a, it's lovely, Bolka. That it's is nice. Absolutely wonderful. I was worried that Rusilka is not here and I, who would do my hair, but look at oh, this. Oh, yes. My God. Marge did such a good job. Look at no, that. No. Oh, no. Marge did a good job, too. But then this, I don't know if he wants me to tell you. That this was Valdine. What? Yes. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> the man is tall and mysterious oh. and so full of capabilities it seems yes he's like an onion full of surprises yes he is a surprise <laughs> onion surprise onion <laughs> such a surprise onion <laughs> every <laughs> layer yes <laughs> what will we find next what will we discover about Valdin in the future who knows <sighs> that weed whacker dude yeah, <laughs> yeah. is that gonna get picked up Probably. Well, yeah, yeah, it's a little in bit. There. Okay, uh, so but this will be the part in the music where I'm like, there's this this weed whacker <laughs> instrument kind of creeps into the music. <laughs> oh, nice. So here's <laughs> what. <laughs> how about we take a break until weed whacker guy is done? Yeah. Get some food, take a piss, whatever we need. Take a piss. Okay, okay. Is it quiet enough? Are they go, done? Go, go, Are go, they go. done? Oh my god, it's a pause. I feel like even if they do start it back up, it's not going to be as loud as it was before. We all just need to be really loud when we talk. We just talk into our mics. <laughs> James. <laughs> James's face is lit up. I was born <laughs> for this. <laughs> I am right, so ready, guys. Can you drown out yard work? Yes, I can. All right, so we just established Valdine did a combined. really great job on Boca's hair and yep. Marge's tipsy. And yep. <clears throat> he found out. Something about Valdine's past. Yeah, what was it, Volca? What'd you find out? <laughs> <laughs> he was, I forget what I put it, uh, love worker? I like no, that term. It was yeah, the gun, for, yeah. gun for hire. Oh, gun for hire. Gun for hire. <laughs> yeah. In more ways than one. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. mm-hmm. Okay, so. <laughs> but love worker sounds respectable, too. Yeah, like. yeah. Thank you, Volca. I appreciate like that. It. Sounds like you put in a hard day's work and. <laughs> Hard. No, I mean it sounds they labor. Like, mm-hmm. it sounds labor intensive. So let's get one last. <laughs> let's get one thing straight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, the uh, <laughs> Let's get one last vignette from everyone as this day wraps up. So Vasilisa, we'll start with you as you finish up your last thing. Vasilisa, over the course of the day, spent 16 hours preparing spells and doing scrolls wow. and doing the blood transcription. And she still has a scroll left that she's just going to have to wait to do tomorrow because she has spent it. She's been awake for a full 16 hours. She she did take a brief break to cast good berry five times and grow a couple of bean stalks. Because you could always use more beans. And fresh vegetables are hard to come by in Arison. But she's just exhausted. And spent. And kind of still in that communing with my cards horror zone. Mm -hmm. Her mind is very busy with magical stuff. And so she just probably doesn't really engage with anybody. Yeah. Maybe just plops a sack of beans down. (laughs) <laughs> and and goes and curls up to sleep okay she's she's done <laughs> she's done she's had a day yeah and she has to get up early the next day to do at least a couple hours more because man we had a lot of good scrolls yeah what's everyone else looking like who wants to go next what is your uh, evening just, vignette just get it get in the zone haro zone <laughs> I, I couldn't help it it was okay <laughs> Jeez. So, so what is Valdine doing? Yeah, what is Valdine doing? <laughs> Since you had to jump in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's Smart talk on Valdine. <laughs> Fair enough. 
Valdine is actually just kind of came back in a corner, leaning, leaning in, a, in a chair, leaning mm-hmm. against the wall again. And then he kind of just jumps up all of a sudden and realizes he touches his hip and his side. He goes, Boca. Yes. You no, ha- yes. Boca, yes. you still have my gun? Yes, yes, yes. I just, I just remembered I'm, I'm not armed. And you're not. I feel like I'm more in my right mind again. Could you, uh, could you return my weapon to me, please? Boca. <laughs> The, the fly just got on the just mic. Again. Wow! Oh, it did. Oh my god! <laughs> I can't. This is good because it was putting everyone in a. This really is good. how we're gonna die. <laughs> it's putting everyone in a really good mood. <laughs> Recording this episode from old age. <laughs> the landscapers are gonna <laughs> come kill us. Well, Dean walks across the room to see Boca. You still have my gun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I put Bulk it. Boca's just dead. He's a. <laughs> Just a skeleton with a great head of hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, saving throw none. Spell resistance no. I can do it for. What are you, what are you five trying levels. to do? Wait, what are you trying to do here? You're looking cast, up something. Hold on. Cast some spells on Valdine. Oh, <laughs> oh no. I, oh, oh. No. So uh, when he prepared his spells uh, this morning, I think it was, or I don't know. How long have we been in this hidey hole? For f's sake. Like 16 Last hours. Last night and then today. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so this morning when he was preparing his spells, uh, he prepared something called Sense Madness. He knew he couldn't cure whatever was going on with everybody, but he thought maybe this would help him understand it better and that would lead him to help cure. As Valdine's asking for his gun back, now is a perfect time for him to yeah. say, yes, sure. if you don't mind, but let me just, would you like to check and just do like a reading of how you are feeling overall just to make sure because sometimes you are not in your right mind but you do not know you are not in your right mind and you think that everything is fine like oh I can pull this haircut off it's no problem but well you, I mean your hair does look good no me I look amazing but yes <laughs> other other people other times and thank you again for that well we already did a reading er- Vasilisa did her reading earlier didn't we didn't need another reading just something like that with cards? no it's just a quick spell it's just a quick spell oh okay it's only one round per level they're getting closer, I feel like. That which we, must, we must hurry. They're approaching. Okay. <laughs> There's no time. <laughs> Quickly, before they get here. <laughs> I can sense the presence of mental disturbance in creatures within range. Yeah, okay. that's beautiful. So are you casting it on everyone, then? Or just me? Well, it's, uh, it's within... What are we, five now? Yeah, yeah you guys yeah, are with five. All five. So it's within it's 45 gonna, feet. It's going to be the whole room. So it's so the whole, it's everyone. Room. You can do everybody. Um, but also, if you choose to concentrate on the same creature for an extra round after that, like it, it bursts on everyone, and then you can choose to focus and really try and figure out what's wrong with someone. Okay. So cool, that, that's cool. what I'm going to do cool. to Valdine. Okay. I can tell like how much sanity damage they've taken based on the sanity rules, and I can, ident- yeah. I can identify their specific... Condition. <laughs> mental condition. Disturbances, yeah. Yeah, nice. so I'll, I'll tell you about those once you succeed in this. Mm-hmm. If is there a resist or a, a roll? No spell resistance and no saving throw. Cool. I mean, it's it sounds like it's just a regular. It's me detect- reading. It's yeah, like I'm dead. detecting. I'm detecting. Like detect. Undead, detect magic. It's one of those. So actually, I have to roll. Um, oh, shit. The round one goes off, and I can tell who's mad and who's not and whatever. But for the next round that I'm focusing on Valdine, uh, it's a sense motive against DC 10 plus the save DC of the target's madness or addiction. Ooh. And if I can nail it, I determine the exact nature of the madness or addiction. Cool. Like I have the number. Time. Okay, here okay. I go. Ooh. Here we go. Twenty-one. No. Okay. <gasps> wow. So, but the first round, I do identify what if anyone has madness. Yes. <laughs> Valdine does still. Yes. I mean, I think I'm still paranoid. Yeah. I think Marge's mania and delusions ended after she slept because that way yeah. it was directly correlating to her lack of sleep and her exhaustion i think arison is i'm gonna be paranoid for at least as long as we're in arison <laughs> so vasilisa and valdine ping up for you Bing. okay i mean marge doesn't certainly seem all right she seems quirky as vasilisa <laughs> says she's, she's been quirky Mm. So Bulka will produce the, the gun, the pepper box, okay. for Valdine and say, well, I, I told you if you asked for it back, I would give it back to you. But uh, if you maybe, if you need me to hold it again for you, like perhaps before you go to sleep at night, that might be a good idea. 
but here and he like presents it very very like politely and Valdine hesitates and looks at you for a moment Oboka we're we're about to wrap up our day here we're not going anywhere yet uh, can we just make sure that you're in case something does happen in the night you're nearby or can get this to me quickly in case we do need to fight I think it is good but, yeah I will stay close okay, to you let, let's do that and let's have a prearranged uh, a condition or reward or something that we know to to get get the weapon to me quickly in case we're in the middle of a fight but we're we're about to go to sleep here in a few hours and I don't anticipate us needing to fight tonight no, so and I believe if situation arises I, I will be wise enough to know when is the right time okay I think you're right and I, I push the gun back toward you with my hand and hold on to it till the morning when we when we get on the road and we're out there where we need to use it very good I will I think you're right something doesn't feel quite the way it should be I can't quite put my finger on it but something in my head isn't uh, isn't lining up the way it usually does and I don't want to hurt anybody at least not anybody here thank you and then after that Bulk is going to take the pepper box and uh, wherever yeah stay close to wherever Valdine was bedding down okay cool and he you know he was already working on the like the, the communique that he was going to send while he was getting his hair done but now he's also going to try and in the evening maybe pen a poem or two specifically for a couple people that he cares about in Waldsby. And nice. If he can't come up with anything good, he might throw it away, but if he comes up with something nice, he'll add it to the the letter. Very cool. Well, I think Marge is just going to keep herself busy. It's what she knows how to do best is, you know, preparing. So after she messes around with the blowgun and looking at the poisons and figuring out how best to, to carry everything, uh, she'll probably go back down into the hole and um, start packing up Ghost and helping Sarah and Gary with okay. splitting up rations Sweet. and making sure there's blankets and tent and, you know, everything is where it needs to be. And yeah. Nice. Just getting all the packs ready to go. So first thing in the morning, throw it all on Ghost and head out head out okay. she's yeah i think she's trying to keep herself preoccupied so she's not thinking about stuff yeah so there are a couple things you have our wonderful spell casters that need their time to pray and prepare spells and then we also know that vasilisa has one more scroll that she needs to finish up so during that time i think everybody else is just packing up the donkey making sure everything's ready getting breakfast ready getting for breakfast first cooking meal yep I think Marge is looking forward to being out of, you know, enclosed space with everybody. Yeah. Be, the, being the out. Road, the hidey road, hole, the bunker. Like, the, they all sound it's, very it's, <laughs> Exactly. Yeah. I, I think she's going a little stir crazy. All <laughs> right. So, Vasilisa, how did all of your scrolls turn out now that you are officially done? Oh, yeah. I, I have successfully added the following spells to my familiar. Ooh. Dispel magic. Iris any mirror sight. Nice. Remove disease. Ooh, that's a good one. Levitate. And Whoa. returning weapon. Ooh. Nice. Those very are good. cool. That's very cool. Great. You can cast yeah, that yeah, yeah. on Valdine's gun. You can throw it now. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but don't cast it on a magic weapon because they'll get a save. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Will save for that one. <laughs> <laughs> the weapon gets a will save? Magical uh, weapons have will. Objects yeah. can Interesting. Yep, save yep, yep. sometimes. Smart objects. Now, but if I wanted, I could prepare youthful appearance. Oh, and I could force any of you to look ten years younger. No save. There's no save for that spell. It's freaking borked. But that's <laughs> it is a borked okay. ass spell. I don't understand it. I don't. Uh, I am in with the right party. It's like spa treatment. I look ten years younger. My hair is beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> this is so good. So, what does the marching order look like as you guys leave this hovel? In your small little caravan going through the woods, you guys know that you're going to be heading more of a northwest direction today. Basically going to be traveling for several days until you hit the edge of a lake in which you guys will find Elsprin. And then a couple more days and then you'll be at White Throne, which is right on the Glacier Lake. Do we have one of Kappa's dog sleds? 
Do we have a dog sled? I don't think so. No, the, or the do pal we just dog have, have them all. The sleds themselves. that we could pull, but the dogs we left at the tower. Right. Like yeah. Fools. Well, the no, the dogs, dogs were, were kidnapped by the guards. By the guards. Yes. No, that's what I mean. We left them at the tower. Oh, oh yeah. Gotcha, we, did, yeah. we didn't rescue them. Yeah. No, yeah. The, when they grabbed that box of kitties, they probably took the dogs too. Yeah, the, the, <laughs> the kitties and puppies. Thing they weren't yeah. able to take out of the courtyard was Marigold because yeah, she was she's stubborn. A stubborn donkey. Yeah, because she's a very good girl. Yep. But they they have all the dogs and everything. Oh. How deep is the snow? Because if it's not too deep, I feel like Marge would go first. But if it's deep, she's not going it, to... It's double you know. movement. So not so as deep as it was before. we've been in worse. Yeah, yeah been you guys worse. have been in worse. Yeah, and we're using snowshoes. Uh, Volka would yeah. like to be up front, too. Like, he wants to make sure that if anything bad happens, it comes to him. Okay. And are you riding? Yes, she would be riding. Vasilisa would like to be in the middle. Okay. With Marigold. Valdine cool. would also like to be near the middle somewhere. Nice. We're nice. making the kids take the rear. Yeah. yeah. No, Gary. Gary. Oh, rear. no, Gary. Yes, I am Gary. I am here. In the he'll back. he'll watch the fine. six. Right, because he doesn't need necessarily to have, like, fingers or sharp. It, but he needs to have sharp eyes. Do you have a right. weapon yeah. of any kind? Uh, yes, I have this system. here sword. Oh, good. It's good. And I'm excited to do the travel now. Okay. Very good. A couple hours pass, just trudging through the snow. You guys eventually break out of the heavily wooded forest and the trees become more and more sparse as you start to move uh, almost parallel to the tree line. You can see the forest a short distance away. And I need everybody to roll me a perception check, please. Right. Oh. Die, don't feel me. Yes. Oh, yeah. Well, Valdine got a natural 20 on his dice. Giving Girl, him a same. total. Nice. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Oh We're like such good friends this episode. Doing a hair, both getting twenties. So what you get? It. I got it. It gives me a thirty. Whoa! What the? Yeah, I only got a twenty-five. Well. Yeah, I have. Oh, March got a twenty-five too, but I only rolled a seventeen. Jeez. Baldine is really paying attention with his eagle eyes. Fossilies. I have no a ranks six. in it. You were thinking about I, scrolls I have again. A six. I was probably thinking about, oh man, I hope I prepared the right spells today. Mm-hmm. Elizabeth didn't prepare any spells. Yeah, I don't know what I have prepared. You shouldn't tell the DM that out loud. Yeah. You just that's <laughs> an internal saying, internal thoughts versus thinking about that yummy time, blood. You know, I should have already <laughs> prepared. My, I have prepared my spells. I will let you know uh, later what they once are. Once we know, once we know what this is that you're about to tell us, yeah. then we'll so, then we'll prepare a bunch I, of spells. You didn't give me that a chance. Sense. What can I say? I when, when, when was I supposed to do? <laughs> so with a 30, Valdine 30. has to see. Valdine got a 30. What did you 20, get? 25. 25. Mark 25. got 25. What did Vasilisa get? Six. Cool. Uh, so the three of you walking along, you notice that there are quite a number of birds that have been along the journey. Um, all kind of black raven crow-like birds <sighs> um, throughout the oh, entire no. journey. Like ever since you guys left, you've seen... Just birds uh, we forgot flying to hide. around. Uh, but where you guys are standing now, you look over into the woodland and you see like five or six birds just kind of like perched together. And that's the first time you've seen like a flock of them just kind of like chilling, just being chill. I need nature checks from the three of you. Not 20. You know, okay, so these dice that I just got out of a bath bomb from Thornhill Gaming... Have been rolling real good. Well, you got another twenty. I got another twenty. Jeez! Wow, they sound all really unbalanced. <laughs> <laughs> They're waterlogged. It was a great bath, though. It was a great <laughs> bath. Very nice man. Twenty-four for Marge. Twenty-four for Marge. Valdine says, "Ooh, look, birds." Okay. He rolled a one. <laughs> and Bulka. Would you let me do survival? Or? No. It's okay. Nature. Then I can't do it. Okay. Cool. So over the course of these like four or five hours, you guys have been walking like. Birds are becoming more and more frequent and everything. And Marge, you look over and you see this little cluster of birds and you're like, that's, that's not natural. Hey, Bulka. Oh, yes. These birds are acting kind of weird. There's um, a lot of them there. Yeah, yeah. They don't normally sit together like that. I'm wondering if these guys came from the tower. Oh, it's possible. Would that be bad? Uh, yeah. Oh, yes. What? What should we do? And as you guys are sitting here talking, all of these ravens that are perched on this tree, and you see one of them kind of fly up, and it circles around a bit, and Marge, as you're looking at this, and you're talking to Bulkamel, that doesn't doesn't seem good. That doesn't seem good. I don't think it's a good idea. Don't you know? Don't you know? You (laughs) see an entire swarm of ravens break the tree line, shooting out like in one of them cool animes with stuffed 
pops out of the forest and it's like, oh shit, it's an ambush. What are these ninja birds? I guess we'll have to find out oh, next no. time. Come on. Pulls her hood down and roar! I sure hope that I someone like that. prepared burning hands today. <laughs> us too. We, did, we knew they were going to see us. They have spies everywhere. We knew that yeah, they we, were going to see us. Yeah, we kind of. We, we didn't even try and keep you. We didn't. We didn't. Apparently, we did. We, we forgot. Marching down the road. Here we come. Let's go this well, way. You know, we're trusting the Sarah and, and the Gary. Well, we should, we should all know not to trust NPCs. <laughs> I mean, what, Lisa what could doesn't we do, trust though? anyone anymore. So what are you guys talking about? Thank you for listening to the Dimension Door podcast. There is still time to leave reviews on all of your favorite shows. Go to podchaser.com and write a review. For every review you write in the month of April, 25 cents will be donated to Meals on Wheels. If the production responds, they will double that donation. So join the ranks of wonderful listeners of our show, such as Elisa Ellie, Merlin, and Ray, who have left reviews this month. Our limited run merch for consensual wanding is still going on. You only have till May 31st to get your t-shirts, tote bags, coffee mugs, and pouches. After that, we are locking the design into our vault o merch, and you will only be able to get the sticker versions. So head on over to our website and click merch. Did you know we have a Patreon? Every month we put out exclusive bonus content, which include character interviews, stories, merch discounts, and early access. Go to patreon.com slash dimension door and see what you're missing out on. Special thanks to our executive producers, David Lester and Callie Rose. Our wonderful editing and composing is done by Zach Kreitler and our bumper tracks are by MDK Music. Spell effects from Sirenscape.